Looking at Alwarkadian, who entered suddenly, he crouched down, Thirumalai, how did you come here? What did you come for? She asked. Mother. It's all because of this soothsayer's fraudulent words. I asked him this morning, can the thing I'm about to succeed? I asked. He said I can. But he could not even go a little distance from this place. How can the matter be successful? That is why I agree with what Palyavatarayar said a while ago. I came to know whether his astrology is a deception or if he is the one who deliberately cheated. I came to know the voice of Palyavatarayar here. When I asked, my suspicions were confirmed by this person. But I never saw them here, he said. You couldn't have expected me. Why did you come? You asked an astrologer to see if anything would succeed? There is no secret, said the princess. Can there be a secret that they do not know? Last night the first minister sent me to Nagapatnam by order of the emperor to bring the prince by hand. On the way he saw Sembian Mathavi and gave her a leaf and sent me to go. When did you leave Tanjore, Devi? We left shortly after dawn. Why do you ask this, Thirumalai? I asked to know if Kajumbalar's forces had surrounded Tanjore Fort. What to do? Yes, Devi. Don't they know, what? When the Prime Minister returned to his palace after seeing the Emperor last night, two messages awaited him. One was that the Prince was setting out from Nagaipatnam, that a great crowd was gathering around Pade. I learned that this morning too. I came out to keep my brother here. Another news, what is it? Alwarkadian pointed to Vanathi and said, Mother. Why have you brought this Kajumbalar princess? He asked. She came now as she always does, I brought her, why did you ask? The second message is reluctant to tell when this princess is around. Say, Thirumalai. Don't you know how intimate she is with me? She knows anything I know. Kajumbalar forces have already approached in the western direction. Don't they know? I don't know, the Prime Minister never said a word to me about this. Having said that, you probably wouldn't have left Tanjore Fort. Mainly, the Prime Minister wanted to get the Kajumbalar princess out right away. Why is that? What would happen if she was there? This princess will be laid to rest even if the little Avenger will probably imprison her. Will he be so bold? Are you really saying this? Yes, goddess. And if you listen to the message sent by the commander of the Southern Command, you will know for yourselves. What? And what? Prince Aromas Hivarma and Kajumbalar Princess Vanatha Devi should be married immediately. Aditha Kari Kalar has asked that Aromas I Chola should be crowned as the next title holder as Yuvaraja because Aditha Kari Kalar says that he does not want the kingdom. If he does not agree to all this, he has sent a letter saying that he will raise the Tanjore fort to the ground within three days. The people of Kolonatu have also expressed their support for him. Vanatha was listening to all this. Sister. Has my great-grandfather gone mad all of a sudden, what? She asked angrily. Why do you say that, Vanathi? Your great-grandfather has now publicly declared what has been in the minds of many for a long time. As the Palyavatarayars have started to build a title for Maduranthagan, the king of Kajumbalar and Thirukovalar Malayamon have started to say this openly. Yes, mother. Thirukovalar Malayamon will also be nearing Kadampur fort with a large army by now. I have assumed so since he spoke to me. The First Minister has also received information. But neither of them know the news that I know now. I have to talk to both of them to prevent civil strife. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Mother. The situation is now very desperate. It seems that a great Indian war is about to end. It is very right to call this war of India, Thirumalai. If war breaks out now, it will be a fraternal conflict. It will be a war of all destruction between close relatives. Vanati. Listen to this. My father's father, Parantaka Emperor, took a wife from the Palyavatare clan. His daughter, my little grandmother, married the king of Kajumbalar. 
My father Aranjir married a girl from Kajum Valar. My father married the daughter of Thiruko Valar Malayaman. Thus these three clan kings are closely related to our clan. They have merged into one another. Yet they are now girded and ready to fight. What does this fate mean, it seems that the Chola kingdom itself will be destroyed by their fight. Sister. I don't care about that. Let me fight and die anyway. But why should my great father drag my name into this? It seems that I should go back and see my great grandfather and fight. What is the use of that, my dear? Your great father will not listen to you. Even if you and I plead together, it will not help. Old men like your great grandfather will not listen to us young girls. Only through my brother Aromas Hivarman can this fight be prevented. Thirumalai. Why have you returned? Where is Aromas I now? The question is that I had planned to leave Tiravara last night. But I could not come because the road was all one flood forest. I also came back unable to see beyond the old river. Kudamuriyudi has broken and turned it into one ocean. Anyway, the flood will recede. After that, Aromazai must come this way? We have to wait until then. I am worried that some disaster will happen in Tanjore by then. Tirumala. Can you go back to Tanjavar immediately and tell the king of Kajumbalar what I am telling you? Do not besiege the fort of Tanjore until Aromazai arrives. Will you tell me? Sister. Shall I go to Tanjore with him? What will you do with this man, my dear? Go and fight with my great father. Why do you fight? Will he listen to you and stop fighting? If you stop the fight, let it stop, if you don't stop, let it be ruined somehow. I insist that my name is not dragged into it. They're pulling your name? What's that for? Didn't you hear what this heroic Vaishnava said a little while ago, sister? Vanatha said and bowed her head in shame. Who said what about you? Tirumala. What did you say about this girl? Didn't I tell you about the general insisting that he marry Pani's suitor? He seems to be referring to that. Vanati. What is your objection to that? Don't you wish to marry Pani's Selvan? There is love or not. What is there to talk about now? I object to my father announcing the marriage and the graduation together with me. Is it not that my great father is starting this fight to put me on the Chola throne? At this time, a woman's voice said, Kajum Balar's princess seems to hate to ascend the throne. Hearing that, everyone looked at the place where the voice came from. There stood the Odakara girl Fungahalai. Kundave looked at her in astonishment and said, Girl! How did you come here? Did we wander in search of you and the Queen of Elam this morning without seeing you? Where is your aunt? She asked. Goddess. Forgive me. My aunt forcibly dragged me through the tunnels of Palyavur Palace and sent me out of the fort. My aunt did not like me to spend even a day in the Tanjore Palace. I did not like the palace life either. When the Kajumbalar princess hated the throne, how could people like me like to live in the palace? Said Punghuali. Woman. When you ask something, you say something. It seems your will is not in the right state. Said Kundave. Vanatha said, Sister. She has the right intention. She is talking like this on purpose to make me feel bad. I have a desire to ascend the throne of Kolonat and become the queen. That is why I want to marry their younger brother, Pani's son-in-law. I know her mind very well, said Vanathi. Could the adage that a snake knows a snake's feet be false? Said Punghuali. Girls! Stop! You don't know what to say at any moment. Flowerpot! Where is your aunt now? Kundave asked. Treasure belonging to Bavur Mansion is in the dungeon. What for? There's a murderer lurking with a veil in his hand. Aha! To think of the way we both put him to bed early this morning. To think of the way he ran around in terror, thinking we were two female ghosts. After saying that Pungazalai laughed cheerfully. Kuntava thought that this woman was delusional and said, Then tell me. Who is he? 
Why is he hiding? How did you know that? She asked. I didn't know all that, Devi. My aunt, though she can't speak or hear, has the amazing power to know things that we all don't know. She somehow knew that he was waiting there to kill someone in the palace. Devi. Did you use my aunt to break the hands of the ten-headed ravens Wara? What was that for? Do you know? I don't know, if you know, tell me at once. When you saw my aunt trying to break off Ravana's arms you all thought she was a bitch, a mad woman. But my aunt is not a bitch. Right between those Ravana arms is the tunnel that leads to the treasure in the dungeon of Palyavatarayar. Aha! Uh -huh. Really? Kundave wondered. And how the dumb queen of Elam came to the emperor's palace? All Workadians said. All these days we in the palace didn't know there was such a tunnel? Come on! Why didn't you come to the palace right away and tell us all this? Why did you leave your aunt alone? Said Ilay Aprati. It's because of my aunt's stubbornness. She sent me out saying that she would take care of the one hiding there. Why? Why? Something more important than that. Did she send you for something? Yes, ma'am. What's that girl? My aunt must have known by her miraculous powers that something was about to happen to Bonnie's lover. She sent me to his whereabouts. Aha! Uh -huh. Were you just going to find Pawnee's Selvan? Then why did you stop? No, Devi. I will tell you the truth. I have decided not to interfere in palace affairs anymore. I was on my way to Kadakare, on the way this valiant Vaishnava met me and brought me here. If I had known you were there I would not have come. Girl. Why do you hate the palace so much? Why don't you like us? Who has done what to you? Ila Pradai asked Kuntave. Nobody made me do anything. I don't have a problem with anyone. I don't like palace life like some people don't like thrones, that's all. Pungazali said and looked at Vanatha with her eyes and laughed. Noticing this. Vanati took a step forward as if in a frenzy and said sister. She is showing herself to me again. I say, listen, I swear by their Tyrapadas. I swear by Akashavani and Bhumadavi. If Pani's lover survives even on this continent, he will willingly marry me. If he were to hold hands and marry me, if I had such a great fortune, I would never sit on the throne of the Tanjore Palace, I swear. I swear.